हेलो एवरी वन गुड मॉर्निंग आई होप यू ऑल आर स्टे हेल्दी एंड स्टे होम इन दिस क्वारंटाइन टाइम्स इट्स माई प्लेजर टू इंट्रोड्यूस माई सेल्फ वेल इन फ्रंट ऑफ यू आई एम रजनी राजपूत एंड आई होप माई टू डेज प्रेजेंटेशन टॉपिक इट विल हेल्प टू यू फॉर द ऑनलाइन स्टडी एट होम सो नाउ वी मूव ऑन द टॉपिक बी एम डब्ल्यू बायोमेडिकल वेस्ट मैनेजमेंट बायोमेडिकल इट मीन्स रिलेटिंग टू बोथ बायोलॉजी एंड मेडिसिन वेस्ट इट इज़ अ सब्सटन्स और प्रोडक्ट्स डिस्कार्डेड एज नो लॉन्गर यूजफुल मैनेजमेंट इट मीन्स द प्रोसेस ऑफ डीलिंग विद द थिंग्स सो नाउ वी विल सी द डेफिनेशंस ऑफ बी एम डब्ल्यू वेस्ट जनरेटेड ड्यूरिंग द डायग्नोसिस टेस्टिंग ट्रीटमेंट रिसर्च और प्रोडक्शन ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल प्रोडक्ट्स फॉर ह्यूमन और एनिमल्स वेस्ट जनरेटेड ड्यूरिंग द डायग्नोसिस Diagnosis means to identifications of the nature of illness. Testing, it means for the identification of disease, we doing the some testing in the hospital like a blood test, sputum test, urine test. Treatment, a medical care given to the patients like uh, injections, medicines, IV infusions. Next is a research. It means finding something new. And at last, biological products produced through biotechnology. for human or animal this definitions is given by the world health organizations in that was generated by the diagnosis testing treatment research or through the biological products next we will see the sources of biomedical waste management there are a main three source sanitation worker medical and paramedical staff and patients by sanitation worker sanitation worker they collected the solid and liquid waste so that uh, they have to more chances to spreading the infection so we have to discard the waste solid or liquid waste in the proper manner next is a paramedical and medical staff why paramedical and medical staff uh, they all are the health workers provide clinical services to the patients like uh, iv infusions medicines uh, injections blood transfusion or any other surgery so they all are also having a more chances to spreading the infection so we have to discard the waste in the proper manner of, uh, through the segregations of the waste management next one is a patient patient a person who receive the medical treatment patients having more chances to spreading the infection so we have to uh, know that we have to discard the waste in the proper manner so we will uh, decrease the level of infection in proper manner these are the main three sources of medical waste management sanitation worker medical and paramedical staff and at last patient now we will see the classification of biomedical waste management it's divided into five types infectious waste pathological waste pharmaceutical waste chemical waste and radioactive waste now we will see the one by one in detail first one is a infectious waste infectious waste suspected to pathogens like bacteria viruses parasites or fungi in sufficient quantity to cause disease in susceptible host infectious waste like blood body parts medical supplies as well as amputated parts they they all are suspected to the pathogens so pathogens like bacteria viruses parasites or fungi and these are the sufficient quantity to cause disease in susceptible host next one is a pathological waste patho means related to pathology it consists of tissue organs body parts human fetuses and blood and body fluids it consists tissue organ body parts as well as human fetuses human fetuses means unborn human more than 8 weeks after conceptions uh, so that we have to know that in pathological waste also more chances to spreading the infection so we have to discard the pathological waste as much as possible next one is a pharmaceutical waste is related to medicines it includes expired or unused splits drug vaccines and sera sera means serum it's include all the expired drugs or vaccines so we have to also discard the pharmaceutical waste in the proper segregations next one is the chemical waste it consists of solid liquid and gaseous chemicals 
it is dangerous for the patient so we have to discard as much as possible a chemical waste next one is a radioactive waste it includes the x-ray and other radioactive substance so we have to or we already seen the five types of classifications of biomedical waste management first we will see the infectious waste it include body parts blood medical supplies and other amputated parts next we, we will see the patho uh, logical waste in that we already seen the human fetuses tissue or other body parts or organ next we will see the pharmaceutic waste it includes expired drugs next we will see the chemical waste it includes all the liquid and uh, gaseous materials and at last we will see the radioactive waste it includes the x-rays and other radioactive substance now we will see the needs for biomedical waste management why biomedical waste management is needed first to prevent the nosocomial infections nosocomial it means originating from the hospital so we have to prevent the hospital side infections minimize the risk of air water and soil pollutions it minimize the risk of air water and soil pollutions also control misutilizations of leftover drug it also helpful for the misutilizations of expired drug next is the risk of infections outside hospital for waste handlers and other people if we properly discard the waste so it will decrease the risk of infections for waste handler as well as other people so these are the needs for biomedical waste management prevent the hospital infections minimize the risk of air water and soil pollutions control misutilizations of expired drugs and risk of infections outside the hospital for waste handlers and the other peoples now we will see the principles of biomedical waste management first waste minimizations and recycling it minimizes the waste as well as recycling it means convert into the reusable material it minimizes the waste as well as convert the waste in the reusable material uh, waste segregations of sources is it will help to proper the segregations of sources in the given color coded bags to identify the points of waste generation in that we identify the points of waste generation how we categorizations of the waste waste collection and transportation which method we have to use for the collection for the waste and how we transport the waste in proper manner after that we know the proper or final disposable of method of waste material and it will help for the occupational safety this all are the principles for the biomedical waste management waste minimizations recycling segregations of sources collections transportations final disposal and it will help for the occupational safety now we will see the segregation of biomedical waste in color coded bags there are the main five color coded bags yellow red blue black and white yellow it will include infectious waste bandages cotton body parts and placenta so we have to use the treatment method like uh, incinerations and deep burial next is uh, red it includes infected dressing pop and cast so we have to use treatment method is uh, auto cleaving and uh, sand for the recycling we have to convert into reusable material next is a uh, blue it consists gloves syringes and plastic waste in that we have to also use the method like disinfections and autoclave and send for the recycling also we have to convert into the reusable material next is a black in that we have to discard the psychotoxic drugs and chemical waste uh, we have to discard in the municipal dumps next is a yeah, uh, white it includes needles and cut glass so we have to use the treatment method like uh, auto dry heat and sterilizations for the reuse of the material these are the segregations of biomedical waste in color code yellow red blue black and white yellow infectious waste bandages cotton body parts and placenta 
red infected dressing and pop cast blue gloves syringe and plastic waste black cytotoxic drugs and chemical waste and after that white needles and cut glasses now we will see the steps in management of biomedical waste it is divided into five types survey of generated waste segregations and categorizations storage of waste transportations of waste and treatment of waste survey of generated waste in that first we have to survey the hospital where the waste should be generated like ward store room patho lab injections after that we have to segregations and categorizations of the waste we have to classify the waste whether it should be infectious pharmaceuticals pathological chemicals or radioactive after that we have to storage the storage of the waste we have to storage the waste in the given color coded bags there are five color coded bags yellow red blue black and white after that we have to discard the waste so we have to manage the transportation for the discard the waste and after the transportations of the waste we have to plan the treatment of waste we have to plan the treatment of waste like uh, whether it should be reusable or not reusable so we have to using method like uh, incinerations deep burial disinfections auto claving sterilizations dry heat uh, whether it's disposable in mun municipal dumps so we have to uh, give the treatment of waste disposal these are the steps for the biomedical waste management we have to survey after that we have to segregations we have to categorizations of the waste materials we have to storage the waste store after the storage the waste we have to transport the waste in the proper manner and after that we have to treatment of the waste now we will see the roles of nurse in that first regular visit to all wards nurses have to regular visit to all wards for the management of the biomedical waste after that ensure that samples are collected and disposed safely nurses have to note down the uh, samples uh, are collected in the laboratories dispose dispose proper manner or not monitoring the staff whether they are doing safe disposal of waste is color code nurses have to monitoring the other staff for the uh, doing the safe disposable of waste color code and after that following universe universal precautions all health worker have to or uh, following the universal precautions like uh, proper hand washing gloves mask gown eye protection so it will help to decrease the risk of infections these are the roles of nurse regular visit for all wards nurses have to know the samples are collected and disposed safely monitoring the staff they weathering they are doing safe disposable or waste color coding and using the following universal precautions these are all about the biomedical waste management in that we see the meaning of biomedical waste management definition of biomedical waste management which are the sources for biomedical waste management like a sanitation worker patient medical and paramedical uh, staff after that we uh, see the classifications of biomedical waste management like uh, chemical waste radioactive waste pathological waste pharmaceutical waste or in infectious waste after that we know the we, why we should need the uh, to manage the proper biomedical waste management and which are the principle to manage the biomedical waste management after that we know the segregations of waste management like a yellow red blue white or black given color coded bags and which are the steps we have to follow the management of biomedical waste thank you thank you so much for listening my audio visual aids i hope it will help to you for the online study at home thank you thank you so much